So today, instead of talking about photography, we're going to talk about helium mining and how to choose the best antenna for you, for your area. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to do a little bit of research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do go to helium.com. From there, I'm going to go to the Explorer. And this will show you all the helium miners uh, and you can kind of take a look and see what, what they're doing. Now I also want to go over here from the Helium Explorer. I'm going to go to Tools and it's going to bring this up. One of the, the things I want to show you is uh, this Helium Vision. If you go to Helium Vision, uh, that's also a nice tool. It kind of gives you a different look. Uh, plus there's other things that you can do here, but it gives you a different look at the Helium Network. Now this is actually in my area here. Uh, we're going to take a look. Now I have my hotspot and I'm actually right here. I'm set up right here. Um, <clears throat> but I started doing my research before I got my box. So there was actually nobody in this area here. Uh, so I felt I was in a pretty good area because I've got a lot of hot spots over here and I've got a lot of hot spots over here. So what I wanted to do, you know, taking a look at the hot spots in the area, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, seemed like I had a lot here and here. And then of course, all around here. So I wanted to be able to hit as many close by uh, hot spots as I could because the more um, miners you're able to connect to, the more money that you're going to be making. Uh, so another thing I did is I took a look at my house. Now I'm in a one-story home. All my neighbors have two-story houses. My, my home's kind of more spread out, uh, whereas uh, my neighbors go up. Now that was uh, sort of an issue there. So I had to see about getting, you know, I knew I would have to get my antenna as high as possible. Uh, keep in mind though, when uh, looking at antennas, um, depending on, you, you'll need to check with your homeowners association or your neighborhood association. Cause in a lot of areas, I know here in Albuquerque, um, we can't go more than six feet higher than um, um, our, our home. So you can't go more than six feet higher than your, your house. Um, and to, unless you get a, a ham operator's license. Now you can do that. I think it's only like 18 bucks a year. So if you wanted to go higher, you would need to get a license to do that. Uh, or if you're in a homeowner's association, you'll need to check with them and see what you need to do in order to get a higher antenna. So just be aware of that. Um, now I, I knew that in my area, I wanted to try to connect these uh, boxes over here and these boxes over here. So I didn't want too high of a gain antenna. You know, if you get too high of a gain, um, you don't go as high uh, and you go out further. So I felt there were enough boxes right in my own area to where I should be able to try to hit as many of those as possible. Um, now also since I would need to get my antenna a little bit higher just to get over um, my neighbor's homes, uh, I would need a, a smaller decibel antenna. So I ended up going with a three decibel antenna um, just because I knew that I wanted to try to hit these here. And the three decibel, since uh, there's a lot of two story houses and I was in one story, even getting it up as high as possible um, I would need an antenna that goes up higher. Uh, your your um, uh, high gain antennas, you know, 5.8, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, decibel antennas, uh, they go farther out but not as high up. So it's more of a line of sight. And since I didn't have that line of sight uh, in this area here, I had it more down here uh, but not over you know, uh, north and south. Uh, so I went with a lower decibel antenna. But another thing I did is I took a look to see 
what other people were doing. Now, if I take a look here, if I click on the um, uh, hotspot, you can go over here and hit reward summary, and you see that this person, uh, the last 24 hours, uh, has done about half a helium. Uh, and also, uh, this person has the antenna five meters, um, five meters above ground, and it's a 5.8 decibel. Um, now let's take a look. Let's look at the recently witnessed. If you take a look here, kind of scroll out, you see his 5.8 decibel is getting really far, but he's missing a lot of these, you know, pretty close by. Uh, although he is hit, he is hidden some of these, and that's that's good. Um, now let's take a look at maybe some others. Let's look at maybe this one over here. Let's see how they've done. Um, reward summary, about the same. Uh, let's take a look. Let's find the one that's done a, a good, a decent amount and kind of get an idea. About the same, five meters, 5.8. So it looks like a lot of people have the 5.8. So they're getting far, but they're not making a whole lot of money. Um, 0.43. Let's look at this guy up here. Let's see what he's got. 0.34, three decibel, one meter above ground. So he's even though he's in a high area, because in our area the sand, the the um, uh, the heights of Albuquerque, it's called Northeast Heights. Uh, we've got a mountain right over here, mountain range. So we're kind of higher up and the, the uh, landscape goes downward. So even though he's in a high area, uh, I would recommend that uh, this person uh, get his uh, antenna up higher. Uh, let's, let's look at this guy up here. Let's see what we got here. 1.71, now that's more like it. Uh, we're getting uh, one and a half over the last 24 hours. Uh, six meters above ground and four dBi. So that's kind of, kind of. Uh, I would say he's probably hitting a lot of these and going out far too, since he's got it up a little higher. So let's take a look. Uh, recent witnesses. Let's take a look at that. Now, of course, we got the mountain range right here, so there's nobody really behind him. So yeah, he's also going way out here. Um, so it looks like let's let's close this and look at recently witnessed so this shows you everything that's been connecting so he it does look like he is connecting to some of these uh, boxes here in this area and getting a good distance as well so he's got it six meters high and it's a four decibel so the four decibels actually able to go out pretty far because of the height uh, and it's picking up these here um, close by and that is why he's making one point he's making one and a half helium per day looks like uh, over the past seven days he's made uh, 10 helium so he's he's doing fairly well um, let's take a look at this one up in the mountains let's see what's going on there uh, this one the antenna is 200 meters high and nine decibel um, let's see how he's doing reward wise 1.5 so about as good as this this guy here but yet he's even higher but see he has a nine decibel so it's uh, he's intentionally trying to go out really far let's see how he's doing here recent witnesses so a lot of people have witnessed it and it's going really far up there so even above the mountain there um, Oh, I just hit the same one twice and recently witnessed. Let's take a look there. So yeah, so being up high gives you a, a distinct advantage here. You can go out really far. He's got a nine decibel, so he is um, hitting a good many of these. So let's take a look at maybe a few others here. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at some of these a little closer. 1.32, so they're doing well. Eight decibels, six meters high. So he's probably hitting a lot of these. Uh, let's see, let's look here. 
Reward summary 1.73, so they're doing good. 15 meters high, and that's a 1.2 decibel. So that's most likely the antenna that came with it, but he's got it really high, so he's doing very well. So real, let's look at the one real close to him. 0 0.09. He's got the stock antenna, but he's only got it two meters high, so it's sitting in his window. Uh, big difference, 0 0.09 as opposed to one and a half, um, 1.73 helium in the 24 hours. So that's a huge difference. It's very important to get an antenna, get it high, um, and try to um, connect to as many helium boxes as possible. Uh, now let's take a look at how mine has done. Now I've only had it online for about five days and like I said I've got a three decibel antenna uh, over the past 24 hours 0.85 so that's not too bad um, so it's, it's doing about one helium per day um, and let's take a look at some of the witnesses now if you take a look now here's now with, with the three decibel antenna I am hitting some of these that are fairly close by so I'm, I'm not hitting them all but I'm hitting some of them and you know my my antenna actually is on my uh, I, I put it up and I'm going to show you this in a minute but I put it up on my chimney it's about 22 feet high so uh, and then of course my houses or the houses next to me uh, it's just over their roof, so uh, I might want to even try to get it a little bit higher, maybe go up to at least the six foot mark uh, above my antenna. Um, so let's take a look at these recently witnessed. So if you see, being up in the heights, I am getting out. Uh, but yet I'm still hitting some of the um, antennas fairly or some of the uh, boxes pretty close to me as well so I would say it's doing pretty well uh, a couple of things I may want to do is uh, I think I may want to try to get it a little bit higher uh, and if I got to get a license to do that I'll take a look at doing that uh, and I may also test uh, some different antennas maybe a 5.8 um, antenna maybe check that out um, and kind of go from there but let me go ahead and show you my uh, antenna setup okay so here's my antenna setup i bought this uh, brace put the antenna on top uh this is pretty easy to install you just put in four screws just screw it right in i also bought this uh, little box here i bought this from lowe's uh it's a fuse box this helps to protect it from the makes it waterproof and stuff if you take a look, I've got the, uh, the box inside there, uh, the power cord, the antenna cord is attached to it there. So that's the uh, setup. I got a nice view from up here. Uh, that's one direction. Uh, the other direction over here, got the mountains. Um, so it's a pretty good view. So anyway, that's the setup I have. Okay, so that's my setup. Now here's a here's a look at uh, my helium miner uh, in uh, the Helium Explorer, uh, and I was able to accomplish some of the things I wanted to accomplish. I wanted to try to connect some of these closer boxes, and I was able to do that with the three decibel antenna. But uh, getting it up above, you know, up on my chimney, it did a good job at catching a lot of these. Uh, uh, helium miners uh, out in the distance, you know, out in Rio Rancho, which is the next city over. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with the results so far. I hope this has uh, helped you to kind of help get an idea of, of what, um, uh, what antenna you should be getting. Uh, in the comments below, I'll leave a, a link to the antenna that I actually got uh, and the brace and stuff. So all right, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And if you uh, like, um, go ahead and hit subscribe. I may be doing some more uh, um, videos on helium. I also do videos on photography as well. So hope you join me there.